Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're on the mighty Mississippi River in Red Wing, Minnesota. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, holy, holy. Oh my it's God. Mean, it's, oh, my. it's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. This is amazing. How do you go? Oh awesome. my gosh. Yes, folks, on the Mississippi River, and this town is called what? We're at Wabasha. Wabasha. Wabasha, Minnesota. Okay, and Jeremiah, I'll tell you what, you've been doing the Amsoil Fishing Report with us for a year, and you and I have not connected. We're finally in the boat together. And talking to you about your area, one of the things that I love is so many different species available, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go around the river, uh, try different areas of the section here. We'll start down in Wabasha, and we'll probably head up north um, towards Lake City, and then get up towards Red Wing. And then we'll just keep bouncing around different areas, looking for water walleyes, different techniques, and bluegills, different techniques. Well, well you're going to make sure Blake catches the fish on this trip? We will, definitely. All right, hey folks, so the show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. The lure lock tackle box system is the best way to organize your bait. Hey, you got to check this out, Blake. You know, crankbaits are really expensive. With lure lock, they stay in place all the time. The paint doesn't chip, my hooks stay sharp. This is really the way to go. For more information, go to LureLock.com. Folks, with all the rain we've had this summer, what does that mean, Jack? There's lots of black flies, mosquitoes, and lots of ticks. So what do we do? We use Coleman Insect Repellent. And the reason, Henry, that we use Coleman Insect Repellent is they have a formula for everyone in the family. For the littler kids like Jack and Christina, I like the Skin Smart Deet Free. And I just put a little bit of that on them in the morning and that gives them eight hours of protection. Right, Jack? Yeah. Okay, Henry, for you and I, we're a little bit bigger, so we use the insect repellent that is called... The Sportsman Formula. Sportsman Formula. It has 40% deet in it. I put it like on you and on your legs like that, buddy. And what does that do? Um, that protects us from the bugs. For eight hours. Mm -hmm. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, on the Mississippi River in Wabasha, Minnesota, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Did you ever see bait like this before? No, it's kind of frightening. <laughs> well, no, they actually look like little bullheads, yeah. but they're actually called? Willow cats. Willow cats. And that those are for walleyes? Yep. Walleyes love them. We call them the walleye candy. But be careful because they sting. Yep. The willow cats, they can be mean. Mm. You're not going to use one? Well, I'll use one, but I won't put it on. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Blake's got one on already. Yes. What was that, your first clad it was, cast? It was my first cast. With the mini catfish? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a beautiful smallmouth bass. Way to go there, Blake. Ooh. There you go. Uh, Jeremiah, are better. you mad that the smallmouth are eating your expensive uh, cat little catfish there? Not at all. It's pretty common to catch these smallmouth on these willow cats. We're fishing what you call a wing dam. This is a wing dam, yeah. And uh, a lot of the river has uh, wing dams all over it. What the wing dams do is they're a, basically a rock structure that runs across the river that slows the current flow down. Okay. And the fish will sit up on that. Obviously all different species. All yeah. different species. You never know what you're going to catch. Hey, Jeremiah, connecting in the front of the old recon there, buddies. What's that feel like? Uh, a little walleye. You need the, you need the net? I should be able to flip this one. Okay. Oh, ooh, that, oh that's a nice walleye, buddy. Yeah. Now, your size limit here is? 15 inches is the minimum. 15 on up, we can keep. Hey, here we go. Back of the boat. And, ooh, kind of swimming like a sheep's head, but we'll see. 
He hit it pretty good. Ooh, that's a beautiful walleye there, if I can get him up. There we go. Ooh, is that a beauty. Look at that walleye. Ooh, that's a good hey, one. Hey, buddy, that is a gorgeous fish. Now, are those uncommon? No, those are pretty common. That's a, you know, some of your typical river fish there. Wow. That one's probably around that 20-inch range. Yeah. 19. He is. He hit it good, yeah. and uh, you know, I was telling you, you know, you like those catfish for bait. I kind of like that jerk minnow. Yeah, you, you know? stayed with that, I definitely paid off. But I mean, that's a beautiful fish. What is that, about 22? Yeah, around that 20, 21. And 22. your fish are so beautifully colored, aren't they? They are. They fight hard in that current too, don't they? Oh, they really <laughs> do, and he whapped that. I actually thought it was a sheet set for a second. They surprise you. On that jerk minnow again, you know that? that that's a fun thing to fish in rivers, too. Oh, this feels pretty good too. I hope it's not a sheep's head. That's my constant worry. I think it's a real nice smallmouth. Nice fish, man. Yeah, that's fun. And you know, we're going to talk a little bit in a second here, folks, about how we're fishing these wing dams. But it is interesting, and I, I suppose, Jeremiah, when you when you explain it, there's that's a real nice fat fish there. I, that thing took off, didn't he, when yeah, he really hit? really fought. He got in that current on the top of that wing dam. Yeah, right? nicely built fish. Folks, uh, as I mentioned before, what we're doing is spot locking right in front of wing dams. And Jeremiah, maybe you can explain to the folks at home what a wing dam is and what attracts the fish to them. Basically a rock bar from the shoreline that comes out. They put these in years ago to slap, uh, stop the current flow because in a, the river here, the, the current comes up pretty good. So what it does, it slows the current down and these fish get on the front side of these wing dams. So when the, the water goes over the top, it slows the current down and it basically it washes the bait into the front of the wing dam. So the fish will lay either on the top, catching the bait going, over the top or the land uh, lay down on the bottom of the wing dam and get the you know the bait night crawlers whatever would be uh, coming over there at the top of the show jeremiah you said that you know multi-species so we're going to switch gears now and put some bobbers on and some kalen's crappie scrubs and go bluegill fishing yeah we're going to try to go for some bluegills and some crappies today and we might get you know who knows this is the mississippi river you don't know what you're going to catch <laughs> but bluegills is our target they absolutely yeah what, what, what are you now, that, but watching a bobber is fun it is fun no matter the age it's still so much fun oh this is a lot of fun man let's see how big this guy is here he is and ooh, there's a nice crappie to start our day right there and uh i don't know if that's unusual or not we're working a wooded shoreline here folks for uh for bluegills but you know that's a good eater sized crappie right there a lot of crappies in this system too yeah we got a good population of crappies we got a real good average size of them as well it's not uncommon you know to get that 12 to 14 inch but you know I mean you'll get smaller ones too obviously Ooh, I put that crappie scrub on did you really <laughs> I did I switched after I saw you catch that crappie oh because you were using night yeah. crawlers right yep oh here he comes I saw that one biting I don't know what is that I oh it's a bass well I'm flipping them. can you flip them in I don't know there do a flip in come on do the bad Maddie B flip in there it's a large mouth no, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, well, catch him, get him. Well, there I got you go. It. <laughs> hey, large. Now, I'll tell you what. Jeremiah promised us multi-species. What have we caught so far? Well, we've caught walleyes, crappies, bluegills, you name it, bass. Smallmouth, yeah, <laughs> largemouth now, too. Ooh, another one in the front of the boat there, Jeremiah. You're getting hot. Well, we're starting Ooh, to find let's see. a few here. Oh, that, those are just gorgeous bluegills. And uh, I want to see some of those eight and a half nines you're talking about, right? Well, we're getting closer. And uh, these fish are really shallow, aren't they? Yeah, we're up in probably a foot and a half, two feet of water right now. That's three straight cash you've had bites, isn't it? Yeah. This back is, to back to back. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, a that's a dandy. Ooh, that, we're getting look, them better. Look at, the, look at the pretty colors on that fish, Blake. Wow, that is a gorgeous fish. Isn't that? Yeah. And you, and you know, Jeremiah, obviously you love to walleye guide and walleye fish, but what a great deal this is to bring kids and family out and do this. Huh? Yeah, it's a fairly simple thing. All we're doing is basically uh, bobber fishing right now with a little chunk of worm on it. Or sometimes you can pit, uh, you know, put a little plastic on the little jig as well and then just kind of twitch it along and bobber goes down, you set the hook. Jeremiah, I got another one. Woo, nice job. And you know what the neat thing is, Blake? Whoa, I got oh, one. Oh, you got one. <laughs> These things fight pretty good, folks, I'll tell you. 
bluegill. There we go. That, that now that's a small one, right? Is that or is that a flayable guy there? Yeah, they're kind of the borderline ones. Yeah. But uh, no, this is this takes me back to my my youth, and this is neat. Woo! <laughs> I'm tying on a jig, and he's just catching all the fish. <laughs> well, that's all right. I just got one too. Yeah. All right. There's a good bluegill. Yeah. Well, now what is that one about? What? Oh, that's probably about a seven and a quarter, maybe a seven and a half inch here. And what's your biggest here? Oh, we get them, you know, over nines, pretty regular. And your biggest ever? My biggest ever, I've got some 11 and a quarters. No kidding. Yeah. Woo! The minute I put on a smaller jig head, first cast, I got one. Yeah, and there's a lot. Ooh, Ooh that's now, a now, oh, that one up. Ooh, deep. I got one too, but Ooh. I missed them. Now that is a nice one. That's eight, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good eight incher there. Maybe that just a, a touch bigger even. That's yeah. a beautiful, and the color on this fish is just gorgeous. Very pretty. Yeah. And, 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 and guess what, Jeremiah cleans them. Ooh, are they yummy? No, there's nothing better than, blue. I think bluegill is the best tasting fish around. I'm really excited, and that's really awesome that he's going to fillet them for And you fillet them. Yep, I fillet them. You know, when I was a kid, we used to just scale them and cut their heads off and, you know, and, and then fry them in flour. And they were good that way, too, because you could pull the bone out after, after you cooked them. But I haven't play, done that play deal is cool. Yes. We were fishing the Mississippi River in Wabasha and Red Wing, Minnesota. A four and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, five and a half hours from Chicago, and one hour from Minneapolis. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait features a built-in glass rattle in the head that puts off awesome vibration and noise. Also features a wire keeper that locks on your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait, available in four sizes and four colors. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The e Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evanrude.com. The brand new and updated Amsoil Midwest Fishing Report is now available. For up-to-date video fishing reports from all over the Midwest, go to amsoil.com slash MFR. That's amsoil.com slash MFR. The Lure Lock Tackle Box system is the best way to keep your baits in great shape. You know, this system is really awesome, Blake. You never want dull hooks on your crankbaits when you're fishing. With the TackLogic technology, your baits stay in shape and your hooks stay really sharp so you won't miss that big one on your next fishing trip. Get locked down with the Lure Lock Tackle Box. For more information, go to LureLock.com. <laughs> Here's one in the back. Blake has big footers in the live all. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. And the color on these, Jeremy, they're just beautiful fish. And, uh, you know, that's one thing. You know, the Mississippi River, known for walleyes, but the variety like this is, is so much fun. And uh, these are going to eat good. I meant Jeremiah, not Jeremy, <laughs> by the way. Or, you know, this is getting really fun. Are you You're kidding fast me? and furious. We got another one blast. here. <laughs> I, I have one after caught, another. I don't think we've caught one that's too small to keep. No, they've all been keepers so far. Yeah. Oh, they've I, been nice. And that one, that one's about seven and a half, seven, seven eighths around there. Yep, pretty close to that. we got to find that ten in here. And we'll get some bigger ones yet today. I want to see a nine. We'll get some. <laughs> it, it is every cast. Literally. We already know that. <laughs> We're on a good school of them now. Ooh, there you go. That's a pretty one there. Ooh, the, I nice orange colors color on it. Bad. I know that they are gorgeous. And, and Jeremiah, one thing that is so neat about uh, coming up here, and we're in, we're in Red Wing this afternoon, but uh, this whole area is so beautiful. People want to come up here. You got the, the bluffs and everything else. It really is a picturesque place to fish, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you know, just to the south of us, you get into Lake Pepin down there. That'd be the widest part of the Mississippi River. And you, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh boy, this is fun. I don't know if this is a bluegill. Maybe it's a... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. You look pretty <laughs> relaxed back there. I, well, this is the deal here, man, sitting in the old recon catching big old bluegills. Look at that. That's a nice one. Yep. Dandy. 
And and Jeremiah does the bluegill does the bluegill fishing last uh, into the fall too? Yeah, the bluegills will stay pretty good throughout the fall. They're just gonna change a little locations here um, as we go into the fall as the water temperature cools down, and you'll start to get them in different areas. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ooh, this one's, this one's kind of pink. Pretty. Nice but one. I was just wondering, does time of day matter for these bluegills? Um, it's kind of. You know, the yeah. morning time is pretty good, and then you know you'll they'll slow down a little bit and they'll pick up. It just there's yeah. little bite windows. There's I guess there's no specific time that's better than others. I'm about to take a picture. He's catching another fish. <laughs> Not quite as big one. as yours, but <laughs> that's a smaller one. Yeah, that's probably a small. You know, kind we got so to tell the folks. You know, we started out with the crappie scrubs, but it really you need the night crawler today, don't you? Yeah, they seem like they want a little little worm on on your jig today. They want a little scent. Yeah, and a really small jig head too, because I had the bigger one on and I wasn't catching any, and then you put the little guy on it. Yeah, that's like an 80th ounce, just yeah. a little small jig. <laughs> what is that, Dad? There, there we go. That's Dad? a nice bluegill. That's a dandy. And you know, he hit close to shore. Oh, really? I missed him, and I kept that by. He must have followed it out because I got that one right at the side of the boat. So I guess if you feel them and you miss them, you got to keep doing it, and they'll come back. Yeah. Now you you guide for this an awful lot. Do you still like this every day? Yeah, these are I like catching walleyes, but catching panfish, bluegills, perch, and crappies are probably my favorite. Hold honestly. that up. Yeah. Now, th yeah, that's yep. that again, folks. That's the average. And, and clue clue the folks in on the perch fishing here. Perch fishing, well, it's been a little slow this year. It usually is pretty good. I mean, we get perch, kind of the average perch we get are that, you know, nine to about 11 inch range. Um, I'm not sure if the high water's got them a little slow this year, but starting to get a few more and more every day, and it's starting to pick up. So I really like catching those big perch as well. That was, Blake, that was immediately. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's another decent one. How many do you think we've caught in what, an hour? I would say 30. Yeah, I, 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 I would morning. say 30 slow morning and then we finally found that school and it's been awesome ever since. And again folks just that little piece of, of nightcrawler yeah. and uh, I, it's got to be the scent because they're they're yeah. just not hitting the plastics but who cares. Two casts in a row, two casts There's in a row. There's another one. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty good one. And you're cleaning these for us? Yeah we'll get her cleaned up. We got a nice fish facility uh, to clean fish here in Red Wing so we'll get these all all cleaned up and ready to go home for you. That's why I like fishing with you. There you go. Woo! <laughs> I, thought, I thought you missed that. You have no faith in me, do I you? do, too. I have <laughs> absolute like, oh, faith in it. you. Oh, you missed it. No, and, and, and Jeremiah was giving you a little, too, wasn't he? I know, and then I proved you all wrong. <laughs> right <laughs> after like, me. Are you still got yours up there? Yeah. Well, let's hold these up together. Aww. There we go. Brother and sister. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know too many places though where you get average bluegills this size in August, you no, know, late I, August. Honestly, there's zero, basically zero houses and it's so gorgeous, I can't complain. Why are you <laughs> giggling? Why are, oh, there you go. I, why are these fish pink? I, that's a good question, Jeremiah. Do you well, know they're bluegills? They got like a blue hue to them, yeah. you know? I guess I just never The see orange it. in them kind of blends. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Everything is is hand size or better. Still haven't yeah. seen a nine though. <laughs> I got I put my rod down because I was yeah, gonna right. help you clean your hands with the Johnson pump. Well, and my get rod. Him in. <laughs> no, that's a little guy. But here's here's what happens, folks, when when you when I you fish with worms. Oh. So you get yours in, will you? So this is what you do when you fish with worms. You have your Johnson <laughs> pump spray down. And look there at that. Whoa, wow. whoa, that's the deal right that's there. Got some power no, to this it. is nice having yeah. You know, when we're done fishing today, with all the worm gunk that you've put all over the boat, we can just spray the exactly. boat out. It takes a few seconds because of all that power. And what do we say? Get, Get Johnson, Johnson pumped. pumped! My grandpa's got breaking news from Fleet Farm! Yes, Jack, the breaking news is buy a St. Croix rod for a low Fleet Farm price of $89.99 and get a free $20 gift card. Again, buy a St. Croix rod and get a free $20 gift card. The Kalen's Google Eye football jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates the deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in three sizes and three colors.
Today, we're checking out two new products, the Blackfish Aspire Rain Gear and the AquaJet Washdown by Johnson Pump. No, no, not me! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is powerful. This is fun. The AquaJet Washdown by Johnson Pump provides the highest PSI in the industry. There's more than enough pressure to clean up what's left after a long day of fishing. Johnson Pump AquaJet Pump Kits, the most efficient and most powerful boat washdown kits available. Bilge. Washdown. Aeration. Get Johnson Pump at sbxflow.com. I'm finding Bill Blackfish sausage. Me too. Me too. Cousin Henry is cooking them right outside on the grill. Hey, I'm making some Johnsonville original breakfast sausage patties. They're made with only 100% real premium pork, and they're easy to cook on the griddle. All I do is put them on on low to medium heat until they're golden brown. And the cousins love them. Mmm, these are the best. I agree. Mmm, oh, Grandpa gets these. No! Oh, come on, I want them, I want them, no. I want them. Johnsonville original breakfast sausage patties. Find them at your local retailer today. Jeff Kolazinski will be fishing for 24 hours straight to raise money for Fishing for Lives Next Gen program that helps military families in need. Tune in on Facebook Live on Wednesday, September 4th at 10 a.m. It's a great cause, folks, and he might even set a new Guinness World Record. Oh, the wind is whipping, <laughs> but we just checked the radar, folks. Oh, there's a crappie. There we go. Oh, yeah. On the scrubberoo. On the scrubberoo. No, we just checked the radar, folks. We don't see any lightning around, so we're going to stick it out. Jeremiah, this is fun, buddy. You know, just drifting with the current with those little crappie scrubs and, and a bobber. You know, folks, I have really loved this Blackfish rain gear this year. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's called the Blackfish Aspire rain gear. It has an event technology, which is really nice, especially in hot but rainy days like this. It keeps you like, it's a good breathability and it's lightweight and it keeps you dry. Dry and cool. Now I gotta ask you, Jeremiah, is this rain gonna affect the fishing? It might slow down here a little bit, but it looks like this rain's gonna push through here in the next half hour or so, but it should pick up after that. Well, the sun is out, folks, and we decided we'd just catch a few more of these beautiful bluegills before we go home. And actually what we're gonna do, folks, they got a nice cleaning station at the boat landing, and Jeremiah's gonna give us a little lesson on how to clean bluegills with an electric knife. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Jason Stockstad of Fond du Lac caught this 42-inch flathead on the Fox River on a shiner. Tom Sadowski of Milwaukee boated this 23-inch smallmouth on the Peshtigo River on a jerk minnow. Mark Pels of Powers Lake caught this 33-inch walleye on Eagle Lake on a jig and minnow. Rick Beyer of Nina boated this 12-inch bluegill on Green Lake on a spinner. And this week's kids winners are Zach Sell of Randolph caught this 14-inch crappie on Big Green Lake on a Kalins. And Hunter Garsarson of Trevor caught this 23-inch largemouth on a pond on a worm. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Angle Live Bait Cooler with net and air pump on sale for $44.99. And save $20 on the fish cleaning table with sink and adjustable legs on sale for $54.99. That was a major league hook set on your part there. Wow. wow. I, I hope you do oh, that one. Good one. Look at that bluegill. Wow, that is a beautiful fish. They're running bigger than they were before the rainstorm. Yeah, clearly the rain did not turn them off. No, that was that, quite the storm. That no, that is a that yeah. is a really nice fish, isn't it? So beautiful. You know, I'm wondering why we don't do more bluegill shows. We should, why not? You're liking this, aren't you? Ooh, that's another dandy. Yeah. And when did I start fishing? I was, what, three? Three years old, and you used to fish off the pier up north, right? Yeah, and honestly, no matter the age, bobber fishing and bluegill fishing will be as much fun as it was when I was three. And where do you taste those? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at that, folks. <laughs> yeah. 
I think we got enough. Jeremiah Lumen guides the Mississippi River on a daily basis. For more information, give Jeremiah a call. That phone number is 651-380-7278. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get it set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection with an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings. Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. From whitetail to waterfowl, Fleet Farm is your hunting headquarters. Whether it's buck fever season, mornings in the marsh season, or even make this shot count season, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Okay, we kept 30 bluegills, 10 for my family, 10 for your family, and 10 for Ryan the photographer's family. So you're gonna clean them. Now show us how to do it with an electric knife. Yeah, it's pretty simple, it doesn't take very long. Okay, so he makes the cut right behind the fin, takes the knife, follows the bone line, flip it over, skin it, and look at that. Remove the rib bones, and look at that. You've got a perfect fillet. And you do this for everybody? Yep, that's part of the trip. Well, hey, thanks, buddy. You had a Thank great you. time. We'll see you soon. And folks, Appreciate that it. is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish at. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me. This is everything done here. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Can you? Yeah.